Hello everyone! Welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim. I'm Musha of Musha Slam, and we just killed ourselves a dragon, so let's continue. at the watchtower. Was the dragon there? The watchtower was destroyed, but we killed the dragon. I knew I could count on Irileth, but there must be more to it than that. Turns out, I may be something called Dragonborn. Dragonborn? What do you know about the Dragonborn? When a dragon died, when the dragon died, I absorbed some kind of power from it. So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. The Greybeards? Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion, high on the slopes of the throat of the world. What do these Greybeards want with me? The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the Voice. Ability to focus your vital essence into a thule or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Grave. Is his face bleeding? Summoning you to High Rothgar. Nope, this hasn't that's working. Centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was the Talos of Atmora. Rungar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this, what, dragonborn. Nord nonsense? Why, you puffed up ignorant. I'm pretty sure that's racist. Ah, sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Rungar, don't be so hard on Avanichi. I meant no disrespect, of course. Didn't sound like it. It's just that... What do these Greybeards want with him? That's the Greybeards' business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're Dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know. To climb the seven thousand steps again. Seven thousand steps? I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. No matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl. My name's actually Lizard Man, but White Run. cool. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal house carl. Yay, I'll Lydia. I weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Back to business, Proventus. We still have a city to defend. I'm gonna leave now. Yes, ma'am. Good old Lydia. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. What does a house carl do? As my thane, I'm sworn to your service. I'll guard you and all you own with my life. That sounds good. Follow me. I need your help. Lead the way. We've got a long journey ahead of us, yeah. Lydia. I am at your command. So let's see. You got a steel sword. This axe of white run. Actually looks better than your steel sword. Take it. Oh, wait. Take it, there. Makes sense that you have it. Now. Let's see. 
Let's just chant these things for some easy leveling up stuff. For later, anyways. Because we'll be, uh... We'll be coming back to enchant things later, for sure. I mostly deal with petty and How much money do I have? Not enough for a house. So, looks like we're carrying everything. That means you, Lydia. Let's go. We got 7,000 steps to climb, and I'm not carrying everything. That's the wolf armor helmet. It's from doing the Companions Guild quest, which I'm sure we'll get to eventually. Looks pretty cool, but the armor is not great, I think. Either way, we got a long way to go, so let's get walking. Sorry, guard. I'm gonna head through. Ugh. Man, this whole being slow thing, I do not want to talk to you. I'm gonna go around because I don't want to talk to them. They waste my time. We're not doing that quest, but thank you. Well, not till later, at least. We're heading all the way over to Iverstead, which is more or less halfway across the. Well, that's not entirely true. We are at halfway at the map when we're at White Run, so it's like it's on the other side of that mountain, though. I think I'm gonna go a different way for once this time. We're gonna go around the uh, Riverwood way as opposed to the way that goes down by Windhelm just cause that's the way I usually go and I actually think this way might be shorter so we're on the road again and Lydia's following us somewhere back there don't know where but somewhere back there I'm sure she's fine. I should really, really, really... When I get to Iverstead, like, maybe take a break from a couple episodes, do some training of my smithing. Or I guess I could record that, I don't know. We'll see. But I should... Definitely get myself out of this uh, Imperial Guards armor, considering I'm not even with the Legion. Stuff's lame, anyway. Actually, how does it stack up against my uh, White Run Guard armor? It is 26, and this is 26. Oh, yeah, but I've got the uh, studded armor, right? It's still the same thing. Whatever, I'm gonna be a white one guard instead. Forget that. I don't wanna be an Imperial Legion guy right now. I look silly. Maybe I should switch back. Or maybe I should start a fight. This doesn't concern you. I am a Thormor Justiciar on important business. What are you doing in Skyrim? I'm sure your Emperor wasn't lying to his elven masters when he agreed the Empire would give Somebody's him haughty. gods and foolish beliefs. Now go away. Walk away, now. That we are superior to men is an established fact. For example, take this belief in Talos, the Ninth Divine. <laughs> Certainly you don't believe such things. Or perhaps there's something you'd like to confess. I'm gonna remain silent. I don't like you. I think you're a heretic. Then you're a very good inquisitor. So you will die a heretic's death. I like this. You know why I like this? Now I get to fight you without getting bounty. And on top of that. 
I get to wear some pretty cool light armor now. Done and done. Alright, so let's loot the bodies. See, I knew this walk wasn't going to be boring. You, you've got a full set. I'll take your stuff. Uh... There we go, much better. I mean, I still kind of look silly, but it's strong armor. Let's see. I'll give you... Why not? You can have the Staff of Familiar. And you can have this War Axe, because you Nords seem to like those. And I'll give you... Uh... I don't know. Here. You can have this White Run Guards armor. It's going to look weird. You're probably not even going to wear it. But, uh... Here we go. And I'll give you a shield too. Uh, you're running like your hands are still tied. I whatever. Let's keep going. I have a feeling this is gonna be a slightly longer episode because it's gonna be a long walk. I don't know if I'm gonna cut it halfway or what, but that's my plan get most of this long walk out of the way. Hey, I remember killing that. Man, someone should really clean up these bodies. Nice long walk all the way across the map. Not all the way across. I would show you on the map, but I feel like I've wasted enough time. Maybe next time I stop for something. Hopefully I don't need to stop for anything too soon. Also, maybe I should have bought a horse. Oh well. We're back in Riverwood. Where we met up with Hadvar. And whatnot. Vlad's here. We're gonna head up the mountain-ish. Try and avoid conflict, just so we can get through this as quickly as possible. Although we will take time to take in the sights. Like that one. That's a nice sight. Ooh. I'm lost. Should've paid attention. Stop paying attention for like one second and you run off the road. I'm an... Actually, does that make me a good or a bad adventurer? Let me know in the comments below if getting off the the main course while questing is a good or a bad thing. Also, if anyone has any suggestions on what I should do next, if they don't want me to keep doing the main story and they want me to do something else, they should also uh, let me know in the comments. I'm open to do most things in this game, so... Yeah, it'll be fun. Do do. There's more rabbits. Lots of rabbits around here. Oh, hunters are hunting something. Oh, a fox. Excuse me. I'm just gonna. Yeah. No, I probably blocked your shot, but, you know, stuff to do. Uh, up there on the horizon is good old Helgen, the uh, place where he escaped, where we almost got our head chopped off. The door is wide open still. Man, I wish I had more stamina. Or a horse. I don't like riding a horse, though, because I always feel bad if I have a follower. Because then I feel like 
Alright, I'll see you there. And I just ride off, and they're like, but wait, what about me? So, we're more or less just going to keep following this path. Hopefully all the way to Ar Iverstead, because I think that's where it goes. I've only gone this way, like, maybe once in the many times I've played through it. Most of the time I just go the other way around, because there's no real reason. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, hello, Mr. Dog. This is my dog. You can't see him, but his name is Carter, and he's very affectionate, and he showed up to say hi. Hopefully he doesn't say hi too loudly, because that could be bad. I need you to go sit down, Mr. Guy. Go on, Carter. Go sit down. That looks like something I want to explore, but I'm not going to. Not yet. This episode's going to be long enough as is. We should probably just get going. Save the exploring for a shorter episode. Let's see. I think we're about halfway around the mountain now. Though I can't say for sure. The uh, temperature definitely changed. My uh, Argonian blood is not good in the winter. Not that it actually affects me in-game, but... That's a weird name for a cave. So, I'm gonna keep running down this mountain. This looks like a place where I'd get ambushed by bandits. Just saying. For sure. Looks evil. Ominous. <sighs> We're not gonna tangle in the madness of other people. Because that just seems like a bad time. Oh, look, there's a sign that We're on our way to Adverstead still. That's good. That's good. That is good, man. Okay, whoa. You guys keep running over. Soul captured. Actually, I should probably take your hides because I need the leather. No hard feelings. Especially if I decide that after this episode, I'm going to go ahead and do some smithing. I mean, I know of a way I could do it really, really quickly, so I may take you guys along for a ride. Like, I might just capture bits and pieces of it, put it in the intro of the next episode or something, make myself some better armor. Uh, I don't know. I believe I need to get Dwarven Smithing first. To get it... Well, to do this the fast way, anyway. Even if I don't want to go down that route. Leveled up again. We're almost to Iverstead, I think. So we're out of the snowy plain. We're back into the autumn-y looking place. Fall. Yeah, it's right over here. It's right up on the mountain. That took nowhere near as long as I thought it would. And now you guys don't need to listen to me babble the whole time while nothing interesting happens. But, uh, we have made it to Iverstead. Since we're here, next thing we're doing is we're heading way up there. 7,000 steps. Hope you're wearing good shoes. Anyways, I will talk to you guys in the next episode. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And check out some of our other stuff. And, uh, as always, thank you for watching. You guys are awesome. Later.